Hi everyone, I'm excited to be here sharing our advice on how to achieve your goals and create a life you truly love. This week, we're going to answer a question from a coach who is looking for ways to get new clients. If you're just starting out with a coaching, training, or consulting business, or any kind of service-based business for that matter, maybe you can relate. So here's what he wrote to us. Hi, I'm a life coach, and I'm basically just getting started with my career. I've gotten to the point where I'm making $1,500 a month with my coaching, but I'm finding it really hard to take it to the next level. My goal is to attract five new clients a month so I can add an extra $1,500 to my monthly income and reach the point of profitability, but I don't know where to focus my efforts or how to start. Well, you're not alone, <laughs> right? There's a lot of people in that situation. And I think before we even get into some of the ways that you could do that, I want you to just maybe open your mind even a little bit more and consider what if it was just one client at $1,500? Lots of times we get stuck in thinking it has to be this many clients and go this way. So I want you to be open to any advice that we give you or anyone else gives you and even ask your other students what they would recommend. So we'll get started with that. So. On those, we've taken a few notes. Do you want to share a few ideas? Well, I think one of the things is that people like to work with people they know. And one of the challenges with coaching is that a lot of people don't even know what it is. They've not ever done it. It's like if you go buy a car, you test drive it. I recently bought a new car uh, for my wife and I, and we, we, we test drove four or five different cars before we pick one we wanted. And you wouldn't know which one you want if you don't test drive it. So one of the things you want to do is give people the opportunity to experience you. And so one of the things you can do that I, I think is really cool, uh, I was taught this by a guy who runs a coaching company, is to call up all of the people in your life who have benefited you in any way and say, hi, you know, I want to thank you for all the ways you've contributed to me. You can be very specific and say, I'd like to give you a gift in honor of that. And I've just become a coach or you can say I've been coaching for a while and I'd like to give you a free coaching session. Would you like to receive that? Nine out of 10 people say yes to that. Then you give them a half hour or an hour of coaching. And at the end of that, you say, how was that? They say, well, that was really great. And then what happens is you say, would you like to continue and do some more coaching together? Then you can sell them into well, once a month. It could be a 10, 10 week coaching uh, series, whatever it might be. And so then you're starting to give people a chance to experience you. Absolutely, and I would say also using those testimonials for other things. Here's what other people have had to say about me. So when they do say what has changed in their life, can I also use that in print or can I use that on my website? Or can, Because you'll start to see who is your avatar, who are the clients that you wanna to speak to. So if somebody walks up to me and let's say they're 35 years old and it's a woman and she says, you know, I really am struggling with X, Y, and Z and I'm gonna already know because I've already been 35. And if she says, what do you do? Well, I help young women who are entrepreneurs learn how to have a family and raise kids and build a business all at the same time without going crazy or insane. And they go, oh, that's me. So you might wanna practice having three or four different avatars so when that person shows up, you know exactly who they are. And one of the ways to do that is be very interested in who they are. Ask a lot of questions. That's something that you do really well. You're always like, what do you do? Where are you from? And so the more you get to know about them, you look interested, but you're also collecting data for you to respond in a way that you can serve that person. Because coming from a place of interest and service is so important. We all know what it's like when you have that creepy vibe of, you know, I want something from you instead of I really want to serve you. I love when people say they have a problem because I'm a problem freak. I love to help people like you have a problem. How can I help you fix it? And so it's just kind of my natural gift. But you can come from that space and the vibration is totally different. I think the other thing you point out in that is that you don't want to tell people you're a coach necessarily when you first meet them because everyone has a picture in their mind of what that is. But when you say I'm someone who helps entrepreneurs double their income and double their time off in a year or less, then people go, oh, I'm an entrepreneur. How do you do that? And then you can tell them how you do it. But if you just say I'm a coach, a lot of people have this preconceived notion of what that is and they put you in a box instead of you providing them with what's the result they're going to get if they work with you. Another thing you can do that a lot of coaches are doing is to offer a free coaching call. You can do this if you have any kind of online presence and say, I'm going to do a coaching call that's free for the first 10 people who sign up on, on a specific topic, like how to lose weight easily or how to, how to have better relationships or how to sell more. If you have a certain level of expertise in any of those things, and then those first 10, you've created scarcity in the mind of the person. So now they want to go do it. 
now at the end of that free call where you've demonstrated your good coaching skills to the people that are on that call, maybe you only coach four out of the eight that come to the call, but everyone's getting benefit. Now you can say, and by the way, I have this coaching package where I work with people for, you know, three months, four months, five months, six months, whatever. And the fee is how many, of you, you know, would you like to enroll? Or then you could, can we schedule a call to discuss that with you where you can find out where you go into what are your needs? And here's a great question to ask people. If we were sitting here three years from now, what would have had to happen for you to feel great about your uh, progress? And they're gonna tell you what it is they want to achieve. And then you can say, well, what are the obstacles that are in the way that might get in the way of that? What are some of the skills and tools you might need in order to achieve that? And what creative ideas or resources might you need to access that you don't have right now? And they've just told you everything they want and need in order to get to where they wanna go. And then you can sell into that so that they enroll them into how you can help them do that. And lastly, I think the biggest thing for most coaches is having the accountability. So just remember that this is a business and you always want to start with the end in mind. So in the beginning, you asked about spending money. I would say if I'm going to spend any money at all, I'm going to look at how am I going to make that money if I'm going to spend this money. So make sure you have a plan. And then remember, it takes time. Everything takes time. Jack and I spent five years building something called chicken soup that nobody knew what it was before it happened. And so we don't, no, nobody becomes famous or rich or successful overnight. It's something that you said last week, I think it was, you, people plateau and they give up. Right. Basically what happens when you first learn to do something like, like playing tennis, being a coach, selling, whatever it might be, you're gonna have a good set of results because you're doing something new. But then you tend to plateau and what most people do is they say, well, I'm using the wrong technique, I picked up the wrong sport, I'm doing the wrong thing. But if you stay in that plateau long enough and keep doing what you're learning to do, all of a sudden there's a big bump up again. So life kind of goes like this, and then up again, and then up again. So, you know, here I am, I'm 77, I'm at the top of my game right now, but it took a number of years to get there. You can get there faster because of the internet, all the, all the resources that are available to you that we do and other people teach. Uh, but just remember to be patient as well as persistent, consistent, and um, never give up on your dream. And good luck. All right, well, thank you for watching today. And if you feel so inspired, please leave a comment below sharing your biggest takeaway from this video, and I'll be sure to follow up with you. And we want to hear from you and make sure we're helping you overcome your challenges and achieve your goals in life. And if you happen to be a coach, a trainer, a speaker, a manager, or a consultant who's looking for ways to upgrade your skill set and increase your impact, please be sure to take full advantage of the free trainer resources and upcoming programs and workshops on my website. My team and I specialize in helping you gain the skills and the confidence you need to have a transformational impact on the people you work with. So check out the links in the description below to learn more about how we can help you achieve your professional goals. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.